Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So this one is going to be a what's on my iPhone. I do these pretty like periodically. I do them quite often. Um, but I just like to share what's on my phone with you guys and with iOS 14 I do change it up quite a bit. So I have the iPhone XS Max and the case that I have on it right now I think it's from Amazon. It's just a purple case um like silicone just like plain I don't know it's cute cute summer vibe um I have quite a bit of cases there's an Etsy shop that I um have been buying them off of which I really like but um that's not what this video is about so so my lock screen is just a picture of me and Skylar um for Christmas and then on this side I've just got some widgets like oh my gosh there's like a music on uh, me and Skylar, my like charging percentages. Oh, that's gonna have to get blurred out. But so when you get to my home screen, I've got a widget smith, which just says the date, which I think, and then all of my icons pretty much match. And I will show you how I did that at the end of this video. Um, because I didn't do it just your normal, like, shortcuts way. Um, but yeah, so on my front page, I've got that widget, and then I have camera, clock, settings, photos, Google Drive, reminders, calendar, and Gmail. And obviously, those are, like, your standard apps. I don't really need to explain those. And then, um, on my bottom bar down here, I have phone messages. Safari and music and if you've watched any of my other what's on my iPhones, those are all the same. Those do not change. I literally like do the same every time. So my next page, um, that's where I have some fun apps. So I've got Instagram, which if you want to follow me on Instagram, this is it. Uh, I've got some fun stuff on there. And then I have Snapchat. Facebook, TikTok, also if you want to follow my TikTok, you're more than welcome to. This is, this is her. Um, Skylar and I posted this funny video. But, um, there's a draft that I have of that, which... I'm going to be posting of literally me like absolutely falling and like smacking my head and stuff. Um, and then I have YouTube, obviously, y'all know what YouTube is if you're watching this video. Um, if you're not subscribed to me, you need to do that. Um, I have Tumblr, which I'm never on, it's literally offloaded, like I can't even click on it. Twitter, um, I'm not super active on Twitter, but if you want to follow me, you can. Um, yeah. And then I have Visco, which I don't, I haven't really been on Visco a whole lot, and I don't really use it to edit my pictures anymore. If you want to see a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures, let me know, and I will do that. That is something I kind of forgot about that I could do. But, yeah, I don't do a whole lot with them, but, you know. Then I have a to-do list on my reminders. Um... And all you have to do for that is just like make a list on your reminders and then you just make a widget for it. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah, right there. But yeah, I don't have anything on it right now. I haven't been using it honestly, but it is really nice to like have it on your phone and see it right there. Um, and then I have Pinterest. I absolutely love Pinterest. I spend so much time on Pinterest. Um, this is mine. If you want to follow it, um, I have a lot of boards. I think they're all pretty nice. Um, I'm an Enneagram type 2. I know that's not like a big thing anymore, but I do have a board on that. If you want to check it out, if you are in the same boat as me. And then I have Hulu and Netflix. Obviously, I'm sure you guys know what those are. Um, I spend 
a lot of time on those apps as well. I really like to watch movies with Skylar, especially now that we live together. Um, we have a lot of time, like, having movie nights. And then I've got Google. Just because. Um, and then I have this widget, which isn't actually what the weather is. It says the date, but it's not... The weather is not accurate on this. It's the same thing every day. I didn't know that until one day I thought it was going to be 77 and it was actually like 50. So, planned wrong. I've got Venmo, Target. I love Target. It's offloaded right now. Um, I have my apps on like auto offload because I have like no storage on my phone because I have so many pictures. But, um... Yeah, so they auto offload if I'm not on them for like a certain amount of time. And then I have Etsy. I freaking love Etsy. Um, yeah, obviously I get a lot of phone cases on here. And then I have health, which I usually don't use for a lot. I think I mostly just like track my periods on it. But yeah, and then I have Fetch, which. Um, is basically just an app where you can scan your receipts and it gives you points and then those points can become gift cards. It's pretty cool. I'm really into it. Um, and then Shein. I love Shein. I get a lot of my clothes from there. Um, they're cheap. They're decent quality. If I had money right now, I would buy a bunch of stuff from there and then I'd do a haul for you guys. But unfortunately, I'm broke. And I have Starbucks, obviously. Um, Outlook, which is the like Microsoft Mail thing, and I only have it for school because that's what my uh, my college uses for mail. YouTube Studio, if you guys want to check out my analytics, um, check out my most recent video. This is her, um, and then Google. Google Classroom, which I guess I don't need anymore because I'm not in high school. And then I have Notion. I love Notion. I use it so often. This is mine right now. I used it a lot whenever I was, um, like, moving. I had, like, an apartment kind of thing. And then this is obviously my app library. Um, just to show you some fun stuff that I have. Let's see my games. I've got this game. I don't know how to pronounce it. It was super popular in like 2017. Um, but I basically just take care of cats. And it's, it's so fun. Um, and they give me gifts. And it's wonderful. All I do is feed them and then I... You know, I have a cute little yard. They love to come see me. So, the way that I did my um, apps to make them all cutesy and, like, matching is I downloaded the app Brass. And I actually found this out from Julia K. Christ. Um, but she, she showed this in one of her What's on My iPhone videos. And I was like, okay, I want to try this because it makes it a lot easier. Um to do this so you can buy a subscription if you want to um, it does make it easier to download the apps or not download the apps but download the like icon things it makes it a lot faster and a lot easier um, but obviously like you don't have to and um, you just have to like watch ads and stuff like that but if this will load, that would be really great. And then I could show you guys the one that I have. But. Um, yeah, they have a bunch of different, like, layouts. Like, there's just, just, like, plain. Oh. Oh. I broke it. Okay, never mind. I didn't break it. Hang on. Let's see if it'll. Let's try her again. I just want to show it to you guys. But they have so many different, like layouts and styles and stuff and yeah if you want to use one of them you just go say I want to use this you hit set up theme and then 
easy install. And then you'll go through and like click whatever ones you want or don't want. Um, sometimes they have a lot of options, sometimes they don't. Um, this one looks like it's got quite a bit, which is nice. The one that I got didn't have a whole lot, um, which kind of sucked. So I had to like do, I had to get the Studio Notion and um, Outlook ones on my own, but it's really not a big deal. So yeah, that is everything that is on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it wasn't anything too crazy, but I wanted to just share what's on it with you guys because... You know, I got a cute setup. It's really cute. It's sage green, which is a color that I've really been vibing with recently. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I'll probably end up changing it soon because I do that quite often, which is what I like about the Brass app. Um, this video is not like sponsored or anything, but um, that's what I like about that app is it makes it really easy to like change it up because I get bored of my apps or like what it looks like. Um, really often and so I like to change it up and that's what's nice about the brass app is like it makes it really easy to just like click oh I want this one and then it just downloads them all so yeah it's pretty cool but yeah thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because we're really close to 1k um, and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye